now we're getting to your favorite parts of the stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we talk a bit about, about some of the weapons and how we are, how we're tuning them. So let's start with the Centennial. Um, so Centennial, I personally use it a lot, and uh, I always get so much flack for it. Like, oh, it's just shit, why do you use it? You just, you just use it to show that people can actually use it. Blah, 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 blah. Fair enough. Uh, but still, um, I was kind of happy with it, but it was always a bit pressed for, for its place. There was always some pressure on the gun, and just want to make sure that it has a bit of an easier time uh, comparison to the rest. So, a couple things we did. Um, the primary thing is then increasing the rate of fire across the board by 20%. Crytek decided it would be fun to go and ruin all my guides on a whim, so I am starting this patch job on the two weapons that saw the most change with their patch job. I've talked about the Centennial and the Terminus before, and while those videos are great, really, you should go watch them, we gotta right some wrongs for the home of the past that thought Dennis was done breaking his heart. So I mean, obviously that's kind of intentional, we want you guys to suffer. Let's start with the Centennial, a collection of words only ever used in arguments about which gun could be removed from the game without anyone really caring or noticing. Sorry, sorry, that's, that's a pre-1.9 mentality. This video is about personal growth. Ahem. The Centennial received two big changes in Update 1.9. The first big change is the Centennial saw a 20% increase to its rate of fire, which, as you all know from the first video, means there is 20% less time between the Centennial disappointing you with its base damage at range. So, that's fun. Another change is that Poison Ammo now does the full damage of the base ammo. Remember this absolutely smooth wordplay? The Centennial is a simple gun in that it has only one custom ammunition type, FMJ. Anybody that says differently is whispering poison in your ear. Well, Crytek ruined that too. So, if you feel like chasing trends and you take poison, your bullets will now do the full 123 damage to the chest, in addition to preventing any healing for a few seconds. Which, given the increased rate of fire, might be just enough to secure that kill. However, unlike the Sparks, which can flip between normal and toxic faster than your ex when she missed her mood meds, the Centennial cannot change ammo types on the fly. So if you do take poison, sure, you have the full damage, but you do lose out on any bullet penetration. I mean, you can't even break a barrel with this thing. To be fair, poison is a great PVE ammo, clearing most enemy AI with ease, which can be useful. But the Centennial, at least at the time of writing this video, is the only medium ammo weapon with poison ammo, which means you can't boost your ammo pool by bringing a secondary as you can with base medium ammo or FMJ. So when thinking about ammo, as with your bank account and this inflation heavy economy, the amount you have in reserve could be an issue. It's not all doom and gloom for the Centennial though. I mean, sure, it still has the lowest damage and, by relation, the worst range for medium rifles, and it can't down a hunter missing a small health bar, but at least with this 20% increase, it has the highest rate of fire. Right, Crytek? Crytek? Right? Okay, fine, maybe that's true with levering, and if you count how often you have to reload other guns, maybe. The Centennial is still a good repeating rifle, which, as with the compact Winfield, if you are landing headshots, you won't feel too many of the downsides. So, this buff is probably enough to classify the Centennial as a viable option without FMJ, and pretty good with FMJ, though in my personal opinion, it still gets edged out by the Vetterly. But at least it doesn't have this god-awful sight, and the magazine is large enough to keep shooting, and as we all know, once you start dropping brass without interruption, you're on the way to winning the war. Speaking of conflict, let's talk about the Terminus, the shotgun that borders on aggravating 
and enjoyable. The Terminus now has a reload speed of 12 seconds, which is still enough time to subscribe to this channel and even become a member for an exclusive badge on your comments, but it's not so long that this call to action is annoying. See? See? Also, the devs managed to clean whatever was gunking up that mechanism, we won't ask, and increased the rate of fire of the Terminus by a whopping 5%. Which doesn't sound that great, but just try this on your significant other. You make me want to be a better person by like 5%. All right, we'll just celebrate the rate of fire then. So with the improvement to reload speed and a small bump in fire rate, surely that makes the Terminus the king of close quarters rapid fire. I mean, nothing has come out since the release of that original video that challenges the Terminus in any way. Yep, a clean slate. To be fair to the gun, with levering, the Terminus is a lot of fun to use, and you can actually feel that 5% improvement in a gunfight. Like Jif Peanut Butter compared to its competitors, it's just a smoother experience overall. Which, you know what, gives me an idea. What if I show you what 5% better feels like? With levering and flechette, the Terminus is downright aggressive. So much so, you can just shoot explosive bolts out of the sky. What? <gasps> and sure, without levering, it's still a bit slow, especially compared to the Spectre or the Slate, which are both cheaper, but perhaps the real value is the Terminus Hand Cannon, which makes a decent sidearm for a double medium build. It's not a perfect competition between something like the Mosin Obrez and the Terminus Hand Cannon, but they both add value to the medium-sized weapon slot, and maybe, maybe, that is one benefit of this gun. So, is the Terminus worth bringing? I didn't seem to think so in the first video, but I don't know. I did have fun revisiting the gun and pairing it with stupid combinations. And you know what, maybe Crytek ruining my guides wasn't a personal slight, but just an attempt to improve the player experience, which it has. So perhaps time has just tempered my harder edges, or... Oh my god. Have I become a 5% better person? Let's do Here, it. cover me. Cover me, I'm gonna go for the res. I'm ready. Oh god! He got me! Dead. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yes. Nobody expects the Terminus gang. Woo, let's go. 